Hello and welcome to another video on Jay's workshop. Today we're going to be working on this ABBA 595 competition. The customer's got some problems with the automatic transmission which keeps coming up on the dash. So we're going to drain the old transmission oil and we'll be putting on new oil. First of all we've got to take off this under tray hold on with 10 mil bolts, about 6 bolts. So 6 screws in total. I've taken off the under tray. So now we've got to locate the drain plug and the filler plug of the gearbox. So the gearbox is here. The, the filler plug is right here. And the drain plug is this one here. Or we might even get away with opening this one. So what we're going to do first is open the filler plug, which is located right here. Okay, so you need one of these special hex size 12 sockets to get into here which is going to be the filler plug and the drain plug which is located here you can get the socket in but getting a ratchet behind that is going to be a bit of a mission so I think we might have to use a spinner we'll see how it gets along or I'm going to go with plan B and try and drain from here so I'll put a little 3 8 breaker bar on it and yeah it's moving that's good so I'll disconnect the breaker bar, attach my ratchet on it. Um, yep, it's coming out nicely. And as you can see, if you look carefully, I've marked it with a marker, but I didn't have a crayon or a chalk on, I think. So when I tighten it back, I know where to stop. So anyway, I'll carry on removing this for now. Okay. Hopefully we shouldn't get any drip out of here because this is the top up side of things. Okay, so that's open up. I'll just leave that there for now. Okay, so because it's tight in here, what I'm gonna do, I'll put a back of a 19mm spanner and then on the socket basically because it's tight in here. All right, let me put this in first. As you can see, I've marked it up over there as well. So this has got enough space because it's thin to get in there and get around that spanner. Now the only thing is to open it. Oh. You know, I'm gonna have to put the camera down while I bust this off. Right? So I managed to break the actual nut, break it as in loosen it. So I'm using a self ratchet type spanner thing. I'm just going to make my life easier now to open this. Oh. Yeah. As you can see, I've got movement. Now before I go all the way and completely open it, I'm just going to open up this. And open this side as well. for now and then no and it still needs to use the socket on it it's too tight okay so I'm gonna carry on All right, it feels loose now so I'll take this off I think it's gonna come up like that if I'm right Okay, it's getting loose now. As you can see, it's starting to drip. It's gonna come out the wrong way. Not bad, isn't it? Yeah, just gonna let that fully drain out. It's not gonna be much worse if there's a litre. So we're gonna let that fully drain out and give it a little clean up. They saw the okay. split, don't they? Yeah, so yeah. this is the drain plug, as you can see. This gearbox has never been changed, it's only done about 40,000 miles, but you can see all the metal contaminants in there that we're gonna clean off now. So yeah, the oil was clean, but I guess it probably needed a change. And the whole reason we changed it all, by the way, is because this gearbox and this car was giving problems. 
as in like it's coming up with some sort of warning light and sometimes you select gear but it doesn't move so anyway we're going to change it all and we'll let you know what happens and if it solves the problem so as you can see we spray some brake cleaner on here and all the metal filaments or fragments whatever you want to call it is all gone so it looks brand new now and there's a lot on there it was literally to the rim so that's a good thing what i'm going to do now is just quickly spray up some brake cleaner in there around there and clean up all this mess and then we'll put this back in and top up the <laughs> Oh, the wind's blowing the wrong way, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to film this, man. But uh, all I'm doing, I'm just cleaning that. Okay, so I'm done cleaning here. I'll give it another wipe down after I put the nut in. So what we're going to do is put the drain plug back in. So we're just going to hand tighten it first. Like so. As much as you can go. <sighs> yep, like that. And then we're gonna put this hex back in there. And we're gonna start tying in it. Anyway, I'll update you once I'm tying it. It's a bit tricky then I wanna. Okay, so the drain plug's back in. I've tied it up to where I've marked it. As you can see, the two black lines are marking up, and that's exactly where it was. I've given this place a clean up. This looks a bit greasy, but it will dry up naturally. Now, we've got to top it up. Oh yeah, also just to add, when we top it up, the car's got to be level, obviously. And right now, if I come out, you can see just the front is up and the back is down. So I've got two jacks here. I'm going to jack both back ends up from here and the other side to make the car completely level. All right, so what I figured out is this oil, which is, what grade is it? 7585, it's recommended for Fiat. It's a quite a big bottle, but it's got a long nozzle on it. We bought it from Euro Car Parts. So if you actually push it up here, there's space, yeah? somewhere up there that's it and then you can flex the nozzle and put it into the filler plug but yeah i think you should go to the top bro could you hold it from the top yeah it was a bit tight but hold on let me see no worries just hold it until i get the nozzle in and then i'll take over yeah all right so what i'm gonna do with the nozzle is can you pull it up a bit more okay one second yeah let me just pull this nozzle back out again. Oh, hold the bottle up. I'm holding it. You're holding it? Yeah. I'm just squeezing the, no the nozzle thing out, innit? Alright. Go on, put it in the hole. Done in the hole, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Properly, yeah? Yeah. And pull it out some more if you can. Like, just extend it into the hole. That's as far as it goes. Yeah? Alright, cool. That's it. Come out, leave it. So we hardly lost anything. Yeah, yeah. So well, as you can see, it's going. No, no, you don't need to hold it. I'm you good. Sure? Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, we got it in there. It was a bit of a task getting that black nipple thing off the top, but it's going in. As soon as we see some overflow, this is not overflow, what you can see there is just a mess that we made while we were trying to pour it in. I'm just, you can't see, but I'm just squeezing it ever so slightly, bit by bit, just to let it in. So we're gonna do it. I think we'll take the whole bottle to be honest, but we'll see. Just let it take its time and top up. As soon as you see some overflow or spill, whatever you want to call it, then it's basically had enough, it's full. Okay, so we've put in enough oil now. It took about 1.7 litres, so it's just one bottle and a, almost two bottles. Um, as you can see, it's seeping out, so it's full. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put this nut back in. So, and then I'm going to tighten up with my hand as much as I can. And I've got a marker on there as well before I took it off. So, I'm just going to tighten it back up to the mark and then give this area a clean up. 
and that's it basically your job done so yeah we tied it up put everything away and as you can see there's no more gearbox warning light or nothing like that i know i should have taken a picture before to show you what the warning light was coming up with but unfortunately i forgot but it solved the problem it drives nice and smooth we just took it for a test drive and yeah job done so hope you like the video please like subscribe and share thank you